Good morning. We're going to do a higher consciousness healing this morning and pass along a way that you can actually heal yourself, you can heal others, just by simply connecting to that higher part of yourself in the technique or way that we are now going to offer to you, you see. We want you to close your eyes and we want you to ask that high part of yourself for an example or something that you can put your mind upon that will represent it. After you do this for a period of time, we promise you, something will come to mind, an object, a place, a thing, something that you can make association with that when you focus upon it, you will know that your high self has joined you in this way. And now that you have this object or this place or person or thing that has come to you, now you are going to ask it to heal you in whatever way you are needing healing. Perhaps you have an emotion that is occurring over and over again that you cannot seem to get resolved of. Perhaps you have an injury or an illness or something that is keeping you from feeling the best that you could. And now you are to ask yourself, what emotion am I feeling in regard to this? And once you have that emotion, once you have that understanding that there is an emotion behind every sickness, behind every injury that you have, there's some trapped emotion there. And once you have it, whether it be anger, jealousy, rage, not confident, sadness, grief, despair, whatever it is that you are holding in your body, the higher consciousness will give that emotion to you, you see. And now you are going to turn to this object that represents the high part of yourself and you're going to ask it for the healing of that emotion that is tied to that injury or to that sickness that you have lodged within your body. You're going to do this for 20 seconds every day. We're going to walk you through it, don't worry, in the morning and at night. And at the end of a two-week period, there's going to be a remarkable change in you and we can't wait to hear the response from those of you that follow this practice, you see. So let's together close our eyes and focus upon that emotion, that trapped emotion that keeps coming up over and over again. And whether it happens to be in a relationship, in a job, uh, in any experience that you are having, let's ask the high self to join you in releasing that, in healing that. And as you hold your object to your heart, you envision the high part of yourself joining you and removing from you that thing that is keeping you from your wholeness, from your wellness, from your peace, and from your ability to create the life that you came here to live. You didn't come here to suffer as a human. You came here to materialize in form that high part of yourself, to choose in mastery, to decide that you are going to be something for the world to stand in awe of, to not become your experiences, but to transcend them by choosing that high part of yourself, that part that feels good, that part that gets the lesson out of every experience, that part that never feels victimized, that never feels wronged, and that knows that everything that it has gotten is for its own betterment, for its own growth, and therefore we are grateful for it. This is the way you are to look at your human experience. When you do this, your consciousness will begin to rise. You will become more and more of what you are desiring to become. This is why you came. You want to be in your fullness, in your wholeness. You want to be an example to the world of what a human can be when it is united in its source. And this is the way you are to go about it. As you build this relationship with the high part of yourself, it is much the same as you build any relationship in love. You have to trust it. You have to talk to it. You have to nurture it. You can't ignore it. You can't not trust it. You cannot practice love and expect to be loved, you see. So this is our advice to you in building that relationship to consciously, for 20 seconds or so, just a short time, two minutes possibly, twice a day, that recognition and that knowing that when you have asked for something, it is given, that when you have asked for something, it is your birthright, that the high part of you will join you and it will bring to you that change that you have desperately been trying to do as a human and been unsuccessful as. 
The transformational energy is the source. The human is the experiencer. We must unite the two in order to have the success that you came here to have. Good day.